Cheers. Oh my god. That is disgusting. I remember when I used to do that as a little kid, I used to just grab golden syrup, I used to just eat it and like scoop it out of those little tins that you used to get. Sugar. Pure sugar. So here are my five top ways that you can help curb those sugar cravings for good. Number one, avoid processed foods. They're not doing you any good and what they do is they basically raise your blood sugar really, really high and all of a sudden, half an hour to an hour later, you crash and you've got no energy, nothing. And all you wanna do is eat more sugar. Number two, raise those dopamine, serotonin and GABA levels naturally. And you can do this by just doing a little bit more exercise. So if you're finding it hard to find time to exercise, wake up 20 minutes to half an hour earlier and go for a nice morning walk, which is gonna naturally increase those beautiful hormones. Number three, have more complex carbohydrates. Things like oats, brown rice, you've got kumra, you've got white potatoes with the skin on. So you've got complex carbohydrates, which are really slow digesting, so they don't raise your blood sugars as high. And then obviously you've got your simple ones, which are where most of the sugars come from, most of those really quick digesting uh, carbohydrates, which raise your blood sugar, and then give you those massive crashes, which is what we don't want. Number four, drink more water. You don't want to be dehydrated, because when you're dehydrated, that is when most people can start craving sugar. So what I would suggest to do is in the morning, just to wake your body up, get your body out of that fast, obviously you haven't been drinking through the night when you've been asleep, wake up in the morning, hot water, some lemon or apple cider vinegar, get that body up and running, get it out of a dehydrated state and at least drink three liters of water a day. Well that's what I like to do, that's what I recommend my clients do as well. And number five is just eat a little bit more extra healthy fat in your diet. Now a lot of people when they sign up to my program and I ask them what they've been eating, it's really amazing to see how many people are not eating enough fat and not having enough protein, but the most of their diet is full of simple carbohydrates. So no wonder there's so many people struggling with sugar cravings. So just add a little bit of healthy fat to each meal. So that could be avocado, coconut oil, extra virgin olive oil, anything like that, which is going to just give you a little bit of extra healthy fats, which should help you with your sugar cravings and also to keep your energy levels stable throughout the day. So I hope you implement those five ways on how to curb your sugar cravings, especially if it's something that you've been dealing with for a long time. So post a comment below, let me know if you're gonna implement these five things. And if you do, try it for a good seven days before you judge it. Sometimes when you're addicted to sugar and it's something you're used to, it's going to take a wee while to change. But I promise you, if you implement even just two of the five things, it will make a massive difference. So anyway, there is two sugar cravings. Go and implement those and I hope that you get them under control soon because sugar doesn't need to control your life. So anyway, I will talk to you guys soon. Mwah!